is Carnegie, written by the three times French champion Thierry Jeanne. His sixth ride, he's won it twice, 92 and 94. Two is strategic choice. Sixth ride for Richard Quinn. Three is Tau Ta. Sec uh, second ride for Eric Saint Martin. One that it is only other attempt on Urban Sea in 93. Four is Lando. Michael Roberts, his eighth ride. Five, Party Pral. Guy Guignard, he's 45 years old. It's his seventh ride. Six is Freedom Cry, carrying the first color of Daniel Wildenstein. Third ride for Olivier Pellier. Seven is Gunboat Diplomacy, who carries the second colors, written by Dominique Berth. It's his tenth ride. Eight is the Argentinian challenger, supplemented at a fee of 48,000 pounds for the race. He's the winning most horse in the race. He's won over a million sterling. He's written by Guillermo Senna, 37 years old, his first ride in the race. Nine is Balanchine, written by Walter Swinburne, won it in 83. It's his 14th ride. Ten is Sunrise Song, written by Gerald Mosse, his eighth ride. He won it in 90 on Somarez. Eleventh is Swain, written by Mick Canan. It's his sixth ride. He won it in 89 on Carroll House. 12 is Lamtara, written by Frankie de Torre. It's being said that they're already, already pruning the trees in the paddock in case he dismounts as he did at Ascot and gets hung up in the branches. And uh, this is Frankie's eighth ride in the race. 13 is Lusso, written by Cash Asmussen, who won it in 91 on Suave Dancer. 14 is El Tenor, written by Stefan Couret. 15, Pure Grain. A sixth ride for John Reed, who won it in 88 on Tony Bin, and 16 is Carling, ridden by 22-year-old Thierry Tuilier. And at 2.3 to 1 here on the course, we've got the three horses together, Carnegie, Swain and Balanchine, linked together there at 2.3 to 1. But the one they have come for since betting open is Lamtara, 3.9 to 1 into 2.4 to 1. Then it's 4.9 to 1, Carling. 5.6 to 1, Gunboat Diplomacy and Freedom Cry coupled, 9.3 to 1, Pure Grain, 19.1 to 1, Lusso, 21 to 1, Lando, 21.3 to 1, El Sambrador, 22.9 to 1, Strategic Choice. 95, Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, and that's it, they're under orders and they're running. And Carling is one of the first to show over on the far side with Swain going up to join her. Lamtara's prominent and so's Lusso, and Lusso's come to take it up now. Lusso taking it up under Cash Asmus and from Carling in second, then strategic choice on Lamtara and Pure Grain on the inside. Then came, then comes Totar. Just uh, behind Totar is Sunrise Song with Carnegie coming next and then El Tenor and the Argentinian challenger is the, one of the back markers now with Party Prowl. Party Prowl and El Sembrador as they go behind the trees and Lusso still taking him along at a good gallop under Cash Asperson from Strategic Choice and Lamtara. Then comes Carling over on the far side cruising at the moment is Pure Grain just in behind them come Carnegie. Behind Carnegie is Freedom Cry and then comes comes Gunboat Diplomacy and then Swain. Balanchine in the center of the field over on the far rail. But still Lusso taking him along as they run downhill with Lando, the German horse, making a little bit of progress from the rear. Lamtara is very prominent now as they run downhill on the long run to the home turn. Frankie de Torre looks over his right shoulder to see who's nearest to him. And third to Lamtara is strategic choice, and then comes Carling in four. Then Pure Grain and Carnegie towards the outside. Then Gunboat Diplomacy on the far rail, and then Swain, and then Balanchine traveling well. Then comes Freedom Cry, but it's still Lusso. And they're racing now towards the home turn in the Arc de Triomphe. And Lusso, the leader, with Lamtara going second. Then comes Strategic Choice. On the inside then is Pure Grain and then Carnegie. They're turning for home now, and as they do so, it's Lusso being swallowed up now by Lamtara. Lamtara has hit the front. It's Lamtara and uh, Frankie de Torre from Pure Grain and John Reed. And here comes Swain on the outside, and then Freedom Cry. Freedom Cry on the near side has taken it up now from Lamtara on the far side. Lando is finishing fast for Germany, but it's Freedom Cry from Lamtara as they race into the closing stages. Lamtara is fighting back. It's Lamtara taking it up again as they race towards the line. Lamtara's won it. Lamtara's won it from Freedom Cry. Swain from third and four. 
was Lando, then came Pure Grain and Carnegie and Party Prowl, and behind them came Gunboat Diplomacy, and then Balanchine, and then El Tenor, and the disappointing co Carling, and behind uh, Carling, looking right back to last place, El Sembrador, and sunrise song and so the result of the 1995 Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe first number 12 the unbeaten Lamtara the first to complete the Epsom Derby King George the sixth and Queen Elizabeth Stakes Arc de Triomphe treble since Mill Reef back in 1971 Lamtara owned by Sheikh Mohammed's nephew, Saeed bin Maktoum al-Maktoum, trained by Saeed bin Saroor, and written by Frankie de Tori. Second was number six, Freedom Cry, owned by Mr. Daniel Wildenstein, trained by Andre Farb, and written by Olivier Pellier. Third was number 11, Swain, 1995, Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, first number 12, Lamtara, owned by Sheikh Said bin Maktoum al Maktoum, trained by Said bin Saroor, and written by Frankie de Tori. Second number six, Freedom Cry, owned by Mr. Delning Wildenstein, trained by Andre Farb, and written by Olivier Pellier. Third number 11, Swain, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by Andre Farb, written by Michael Kanaf.